You're watching Two Button Crew. Go power up dudes, yeah! I'm Scott. And I'm Simeon. Today we are going to be talking about the latest Nintendo Switch news, including yes. what just got updated in Super Mario Odyssey, some rumblings on Bayonetta 4, and another story. Yes. Which will be a surprise. Oh wait, no, it has to do with Breath of the Wild. I just remembered. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, was, I was trying to remember what it was too, I'm like... Yeah. I remember it being a thing, but not. Who knows? Well, so, we get this new update to Super Mario Odyssey where Luigi is planting balloons, and we're planting balloons. Yeah. Yep. Did you see that picture that showed how it's like the SNES controller? I did. Do you believe it? I do believe it, actually. Mm -hmm. I very much believe it. I, I bet it's you the that colors. was intentional. So, if Luigi counts as the blue button on the SNES controller, then... Or actually, the I should say button. Famicom. Yes. I'm sure that was very clearly explained. <laughs> Everybody understands now. Because Luigi is the blue. But the, the news item here is that people are using glitches. Uh, out of bounds glitches, because the thing is, you can hide or you can seek, and if you're hiding balloons, you get 30 seconds to go hide it. And some people have already learned how to glitch it where they put it way out of bounds. It's just completely impossible to get. So what kind of person do you think does this? I mean... <sighs> Sounds like Someone something I would do. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, yeah. If I knew how to do out of bounds glitches, I would. I wouldn't do it all the time. I would do it like once or twice. But people pay coins to try to find your balloon. Oh yeah, then I do it all the time. <laughs> you monster! Of course, you know I. I'd be a troll. <laughs> I would be like her. <laughs> Why don't you just try to be? an upstanding troll and make them like legitimately hard to find instead of impossible. I, I would also try that yeah well <laughs> we don't know how long nintendo is going to take to patch the the game but right now it's kind of sad because some bozos are just getting rich on glitches riches on glitches that's the moral of the story yes you like bayonetta no me either I, I've never played it, but I don't know. I got news for you. The themes are not things that I would be excited to play for. <laughs> uh, the news is... <laughs> uh, I think he said he's started thinking about concepts for the fourth entry in the Bayonetta games. <laughs> that was so insensitive. You don't know if I can read Japanese. I do know. There's no way that that was legit. <laughs> Yeah, but the cool thing is that I'm happy for the people who like this series that get a cool exclusive on a Nintendo platform yeah. these days. And, and that stole a spot on the Smash Bros. rosters. Yep. That should have been Geno's. Just completely thieved it. Yeah. So, here's another game we won't be buying. Yep. And lastly... It was a very slow news week. Yes. Not uh, much happening at all. <laughs> Nintendo actually considered letting players control the weather in Zelda Breath of the Wild, which would have been nice. So, you want to read this quote? Yes. Initially, we did consider giving players control of the weather, but realized not being able to control it is much more fun. Really? Controlling it wasn't really fitting in this game. Mm -hmm. In Ocarina of Time, you were in places that were just sunny or raining. Right. That was the way players were able to control that. Adding in the weather control would have increased the number of variables in the world. It was more interesting to have Le Link against nature, not controlling it. That ended up being more natural and fun. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it all over the place. What is this? This is the slow news week. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about that? Like, yeah, being able to control the weather or not? Like, I know it's been a, a mechanic in past games, but... I saw memes about like making fun of Zelda for how much rain there was, and they read the cover, like the box art where it's a Legend of Zelda rain, rain, <laughs> yeah, rain, heavy of rain, rain, <laughs> rain of the wild, it, because did you get my joke? Heavy rain, yeah, that's a band or something. That's a it's a video game. Yeah, a PS3 game. Heavy rain. Heavy rain, and then just have heavy Breath rain, of the Wild cover. Heavy rain too. <laughs> yes, but that got frustrating a lot because you're always climbing. 
Like no, oh, yeah. nothing in Hyrule is that flat except for Gerudo. But it's just a bummer when you have to literally sit there and wait for the rain to get done. I loved what crew member Crazy K said one time, and that is, you don't have to control the weather. That's fine, but let there be a potion. That lets you climb mountains yes. in rain or gear, but I think potion is smart because they have stuff you can concoct to counteract everything else in yep. Breath of the Wild. So yeah, I agree. I agree with that one for sure. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that was original to him, but I sure thought it was ingenious. And if I was making the next Zelda game, I would hire Kyle. Yes. So anything else we need to talk about in the land of Nintendo? news wise <laughs> we have a podcast yeah coming out soon or did come out coming out it's soon coming out it's soon. the it's always the last day of the month that's nintendo news yes and we talked about movies and not just like first party nintendo movies but pantendo nintendo movies. i guess so. you could say that <laughs> yeah we talked about street fighter mm -hmm. king of kong yep mega man uh, yep pokemon and, uh wreck it ralph even Am I dumb for saying Pokemon? If it should no. be Pokemon? No. Well, cause I think technically it's Pokemon. Right. But in the anime, I think they pronounced it Pokemon, yeah. Pokemon, and po and Pokemon, I just call it. <laughs> I call it that. Well, I say pecans. But I don't think that that's like an official way of saying that word anywhere. Because in different places in the U.S., and probably in other countries too. Are you saying you pronounce Pokemon pecans? No, like, you know, I don't know if that's an official pronunciation. Well, anywhere. Pokemon, I, I think that's just a butchering of the word, but I say it anyway. Mm -hmm. But like pecans, they're not called pecans. They're either um, pecans or pecans, uh, pecans or pecans. Yeah, you know, there's other ways of saying it, but I just I actually called them pecans today. Do you think and didn't we realize it? <laughs> Do you think we say Pokemon because we're friends? Do you think if one of us said it differently? Probably. <laughs> but we probably grew up together bouncing that off of each other. Yeah. MacTX says, what is the premise behind Link controlling the weather? Magic device? Like in past games, there have been songs. Like Song yeah. of the Sun. And then song of Storms. In Wind Waker, you didn't control the weather, but you could control which way the wind was pointing, which was good. Because that you didn't want to be sailing against the wind it already felt like you were sailing against the wind <laughs> no matter what so yeah we have a podcast coming out that talks about that uh and other fun podcast news i i still listen to nintendo dads and i saw they reached out to the nintendo editor at ign philip mewson and asked him to come on as a guest and philip uh, agreed to that he was excited to he's like Great. yeah check your dms so i think philip is nice he's not like you know how some people become game, video game veterans and then they just don't have the time of day for smaller outlets? Uh, yep. Philip seems like he's willing to collaborate, which is cool. So good. if you guys haven't tried listening to Nintendo Dads, um, that might be a good one to jump in on coming up whenever they get him on as a guest. Uh, game Informer podcast was really funny recently. You know the God of War game series? Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with Nintendo. Um... <laughs> They are having a new game coming out soon, and then to promote it, they released a Facebook Messenger text adventure. So they got a bunch of funny guys around the round table, and they tried to play it together, and um, it was hilarious. That sounds like So fun. I recommend checking it out, because they weren't even trying to beat it. They're like, climb the tree, and then it's like, you find a bird's nest in the tree with an egg in it. What do you do? And then one guy's like, take egg, smash into face. <laughs> it's just... Wow. It just made it so fun. This sounds like a blast. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to reiterate? Because we waited till the end of yeah. our show last week to make the announcement mm -hmm. to everybody that we have some news um, coming up early summer, yeah. late spring. Is that it? July? June. 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 First weekend in June. Mm-hmm. Say it. Speak it to him. Uh, we Say it to him. are going to be panelists at Comic-Con 
Spokane. <laughs> yes, Lilac City Comic Con. We're going to be there on Saturday. Um, we're going to have one of our own rooms. Come join us if you can. Mm -hmm. If you can't, we'll either be streaming it live to you guys or we'll have it recorded so that you guys can watch it back. Hopefully we have it um, able to stream it to you live. But we'll see. We and don't know how that's going to work yet. If you're sitting there thinking, where's Spokane? Is that close enough for me to drive to? If you've never heard of it, you're too far away. So. Yeah. <laughs> it is literally the second largest city in Washington. No, sorry, third largest city in Washington. Oh, really? I heard of the second. I, I'm pretty sure Tacoma is larger than hmm. Spokane. Either that or they're around the same size. Tacoma and Seattle are the same thing anyway. Yep. So I'm there... sorry for all the people that I offended <laughs> by that statement. <laughs> we will be ranking the top 10 nes games of all time which is perfect and nintendo should be re-releasing the nes classic edition sometime around then i think they said summer good. 2018 so it's a good time to do it and it's a good time to bring old men and young little boys together that have one thing in common and old women <laughs> and young ladies right and <laughs> cosplayers of uncertain gender <laughs> <laughs> together who have one thing in common and that is Nintendo fandom. So there's there's some stories behind that one people. Uh maybe some other time stories for another time. <laughs> See you guys next video. We are going to be having a bunch of fun. What are we doing? Oh, we are about to commentate some Smash Bros mash mashes. I can't even talk now. <laughs> We're going to be using Speech Jammer. Whoa. So stick around. Let's do it. Nope. Don't forget to, to it's the news, so you're supposed to comment. Comment on this video, comment on the stream what you're thinking about the news, and comment on the playback what you thought of this week's news. See you guys next video. Signing off.